Hello and welcome to the episode 296 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. We have a short episode today with a continuation of a residency, some studio work and a trip to Sweden. As usual, let's start with the 1960 Hamburg residency. On the 23rd of October, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best, George Harrison, John Lennon, Paul McCartney and Stu Sutcliffe, performed their 20th night at the Kaiser Keller, alternating on the stage with another band from Liverpool, Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. Fast forward to a busy day in 1963. Between 10 am and 1 pm, the Beatles, now a quartet with Ringo Starr on drums, recorded the final take of I Wanna Be Your Man, a tumbling overdub. With it, they completed the work on the song and on their second album. Also during this session, producer George Martin and engineer Norman Smith mixed Little Child and Hold Me Tight in mono. After lunch, the band left for their first Swedish tour, their first engagement outside the United Kingdom. Compared to later departures, this seemed a rather mundane affair. Only two dozen fans were waiting at the London airport to wave goodbye to the Fabs, and the Beatles actually had the time to sign autographs and pose for pictures with them. They were also surprised to receive flowers. Once in Stockholm, the band was escorted by the local police to the Hotel Continental, opposite to the city's central station. A few hours later, the lads gave a press conference and then they went dancing at the Nallen, a popular spot in town. One year later, on the 23rd of October 1964, another tour was in full swing. It was the Beatles' yearly British tour, stopping at the Gaumont State Cinema in London. Finally, in 1967, the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film continued at Norman's Film Productions in London. Whatever Magical Mystery Tour was, it was not the speedy easy job the band had imagined. Why? This concludes our daily exploration of the Beatles' history. If you want more, you can acquire a copy of the deluxe version of What A Fab Day, with hours of extra curiosities not included in the free version. And how would you go about doing that? You know the answer already. Visit www.simonmas.com support. The added benefit is that you will also be able to check all the things you can do to support my music-related content productions. Aren't you lucky? Seriously, thank you for your messages, comments, subscriptions, reviews, shares on social media, tips, and so on and on. It really does mean a lot. See you tomorrow for more stories from the four you love. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.